During stressful times, it's often human nature to imagine worst case scenarios. Our next guest helps clients turn daydreaming into best case scenarios with a technique she uses called guided imagery. Jane Ehrman, a certified health education specialist and mind body practitioner, is here with details. Welcome to the program, Jane. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Karen. So, what is guided imagery and how does it work? Guided imagery is purposeful daydreaming, as you said. It's using your senses, all of your senses, many call it visualization, but it's really using all of your senses to some degree. And it's guided by a practitioner, a or practitioner, can you do it on your own? You can do it on your own, absolutely. You can be guided by a practitioner, or you can listen to uh, an MP3 or a CD, uh, a recorded audio program. Now, how did you first come to discover this technique? 25 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and I used guided imagery to help me prepare for the surgery, to move through healing and recovery, and to cut out the side effects of the six months of chemotherapy. So nausea, vomiting, gastritis, all of those things. I was able to literally stop. Now, were you skeptical at first? When you had your breast cancer, were you, were you thinking, how can this possibly work? Actually, I, I have family members who are, who are trained as therapists, and I knew some things about it. I also know, and have known always, that I had a really good imagination, and I knew how to scare myself, and if <laughs> yeah. I know how to scare, scare myself, I obviously could also learn how to help myself. Isn't it amazing how m probably multiple times a day we think the worst case, and we have no problem picturing, you know, losing my job, car accident, the kid gets, you know, into a car accident. Absolutely. But then when we have to do it for something positive, it's not so easy. Right. Uh, besides um, helping someone in a counseling situation, well, actually, speaking of a counseling situation, can you share one with us? I know you might have to change a few details, but that might give our audience a little better picture of what exactly guided imagery is. Right, and, and I wouldn't call it necessarily a counseling session, but a therapy session. Okay. Uh, for instance, I, I can work with people who are working through significant life issues, um, whether it's health or emotional, those kinds of things. But I, I had a, a client many years ago, a young woman who had significant uh, loss, grief and loss in her life. Uh, family members, loved ones who died unexpectedly, a relationship, a first love that broke up, and then a, a long-standing relationship with good friends over her life that just decided they didn't want to be friends anymore. And she said to me one day, you know, I think life just stinks and then you die. And I thought at that young age, that's a terrible thing. So one of the things she did in, in a guided meditation with me one day, a guided imagery, was to go off on a beach and imagine digging up a, a wonderful treasure chest. And neither of us knew what was going to be in that treasure chest. But what she found was a pearl. And mm -hmm. if you know anything about basic third grade science, a pearl uh, develops out of a grain of sand, you know, getting into an oyster. And it's such an irritant that the oyster excretes an enzyme that coats that grain of sand and it develops into a pearl. And guided imagery is rich in metaphor. So the message to her was all these irritating, upsetting, painful experiences are part of what will give me wisdom and, and beauty in my life and help me look at the richness of things. And you know, if I'd have told her that, it wouldn't have made any difference. But when she was able to experience that in her own imagery, it made a difference. Another quick example is the person who's having dental work and the anesthesia is wearing off, but they're not done with the dental work. And what this individual did was relive, just transport himself to one of the best races during his athletic career and relive the race. And <laughs> he actually broke into a sweat from the exercise because your mind can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy. It believes everything is real. That's why you can get upset over something stressful that isn't happening only in your head. He went through that race three times, never felt any of the dental work. That's amazing. Are there other areas besides, you know, helping someone get over a personal tragedy that we, we could use guided imagery for? Any Certainly. Any pers personal improvements? You, well, you can do it to uh, work with athletic performance, academic performance, if you have a difficult time taking exams, uh, arts and those kinds of things, to prepare for medical procedures that you're stressed about, to help with healing and personal growth issues, all of those kinds of things. 
Have there been any research studies to support guided in imagery? Guided imagery is an established form of therapy. It has been uh, studied since the late 60s and the studies have been replicated again and again. Groundbreaking research has happened at Ohio State Medical School, the Harvard Mind-Body Medical Institute, Cleveland Clinic has done groundbreaking research on surgery and the benefits of using guided imagery before and after surgery. So I, it's well established. I think as part of the general population not working in your particular field, most people are familiar with Olympic athletes using it. They use it all the time, and when people say, well, I don't know if this works, they say, yeah. if you've ever watched the Olympics and you see the athletes with their earbuds in and they're kind of staring off into space, they're not thinking about their to-do list. They're living out, they're imagining their routine or whatever the, the uh, performance they're going to be doing. And every time you practice that, doing it just right, you're lighting up a neuromuscular pathway in the body. How can people reach you if they want more information or they'd like information about maybe getting an MP3 for themselves? Sure, they can reach me at my website, imagesofwellness.com. My company is Images of Wellness LLC. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Mind, Body, and Spirit.